foul amount of mountain man. Running my line this morning. Uh, checking beaver traps first. Beaver and otter traps first. Uh, before I go out and check my land traps. I wish I could actually show you how big of an area this is. Don't get me wrong. Directly in front of me, maybe four foot deep. But that four foot deep literally goes uh, three quarters of a mile. Now this property owner uh, wants me to eliminate beaver on his property. And I said, can do, no problem. Uh, maybe a problem, but I can get it done. Uh, thing I want anybody who beaver traps to fully understand is if you've got body of water that interconnects to body of water that's connected by a stream, creek, uh, wet weather channel, what have you, you can eliminate beavers on your property. But if the beavers are on your neighboring property and they want to move into the water that no longer is occupied by beavers because you trapped them, it's gonna be a year round thing. It'll be a, a every year thing. Uh, that's that's as simple as it gets you can eliminate now this is a long body of water keep in mind if you have somewhat of a small pond and it does not have a creek flowing to it but you have a very rainy uh, spring or winter you're gonna you could have beavers move in and you can eliminate them out of that pond and you may be okay for years but the situation that i'm dealing with here it's nothing but a, a, a swamp hooked to a creek that's hooked to a, a ditch that runs beside a field that goes through pine trees that goes to a low-lying area on the neighboring property I mean it, it it's an ungodly situation it's good for me I got beaver and otter every year to trap but don't get discouraged uh, by not wiping out your beaver population uh, it is a very, very good chance that if you've got interconnecting bodies of water, you're not gonna have uh, the owner's permission. You're not gonna have permission from every owner that has water. Uh, or you can get permission uh, here and there. In other words, big body of water, a lot of beavers, gonna be very hard to uh, eliminate them. Control them, yes. Eliminate not so much but i wanted to show this this is a spillway as you can see a fresh chew they're plugging it up here and this is a caster mound that i made uh yesterday right here i had a drowner right here and uh i don't feel it so only God knows what we got here. I'm trying to position the camera as best I can. But, uh, should have something. Whew. Had to go put on my waders a little bit deeper than I wanted. But, uh, Drowning rod. There we go. There we go. Another one. Y'all hear me say number five bridger, number five bridger? Well, that is it. That is a four cold number three bridger got this young one out anyhow we're gonna uh reset this trap and uh relure this caster mound i'm actually gonna i believe i'm going to uh remove this so that the water will flow on the other side of the road uh, there's a pipe that runs underneath the road. I set a uh, 330 blind set. Now, over there, there's no beaver sign, but you better believe they cross this road. I know. Uh, 
the reason the blind set is there is I'm actually, that set is literally for otter. So knowing my luck, it'll be a beaver in it. But a catch is a catch and uh, landowner, keep the landowner happy and you get the trap. I mean, <laughs> that's win, win, win-win situation. <laughs>